Hi again from the Vivazella team. Today we're chatting to Margie from Place Consulting, who's going to be sharing not only her information on her existing business, but her journey on how she got to where she is today. Thank you for joining us on the Vivazella, Margie. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me here. What you thought was your initial passion of food and catering has turned out to be secondary, am I correct? Absolutely. <laughs> so where did it all start? I remember my mother asking me when I was 11, what did I want to be when I grew up? And I said, without a doubt, a chef. And I went on to being a qualified chef. I did my training. Um, I had a fantastic time doing it. I thought that being a chef was just about putting food on your plate, not actually making it. And it's actually a very hard job. <laughs> um, and I did catering for a while. I started my own catering business in 2007 and I was very fortunate with the clients that, you know, supported me throughout. And you've had some famous ones as well. Some really famous ones, Oppenheimer family, the Intervins, um, amazing families. And I felt very, very blessed um, that that's where I started. I did set my goals very high. Um, and I think people looked at me like I was crazy. I literally printed off my own business cards as a home printer and stuck on some shoes and walked the streets and dropped off my cards. A go-getter of notes. Go-getter, no budget, but we're gonna make this work. Wonderful. And then you fell pregnant. Got married, had a prim baby, which completely threw, threw me, of course. Um, I had terrible depression and I thought, if this is motherhood, this is not a cool job. Um, I, was, I was living in Marisburg at the time and I remember my first function from Joburg because that's where the business started coming through. And it was for about 25 people and I said to my husband, I need to do this. I, I can't stay at home. I'm in a dark place and I need to do something. So I drove from Peter Marisburg to Joburg and did this very small function and I realized that you know, the, the, getting out the house and actually uh, the right mindset can get me out of it. Um, and it doesn't have to be like that forever, you know, if you do go into this depression and stuff. And it doesn't happen to everyone. And I didn't expect it to happen to me. And we didn't know how to deal with it. But I realized that getting back into my passion, focusing on something else different. Um, you know, my, I brought my baby with me. It was, it was great. We went everywhere together. And that's how my business has continued. I just picked up the pieces and, and carried on. It was difficult. I can't say that every day was, you know, easy, but I was passionate about it and I had to change my mindset. It took a while, but I managed to do it. It's wonderful because so many, it's a topic that most people don't really discuss, but baby blues is a real thing and so many people don't understand it, number one. And number two, people around them don't know what to do. So it's wonderful that you had incredible support from your husband and that you are the go-getter that you are, which enabled you to get out. And you know what, there's nothing better than interacting with people and doing what you love. So just on the baby blue front, congratulations on that. It's an achievement in itself. I think it's a congratulations to my husband for sticking around with me. <laughs> he, he, he's amazing. Yeah, he was very supportive and you know, he didn't understand it as much as I didn't understand it. So I, I took my hat off to him. <laughs> How did you find that you had a passion for people and you know, around the employment sort of um, arena? How did you find out about that? I did do a bit of recruitment when I lived overseas for a while um, and I found that I really enjoyed telling people that they got a position. It wasn't just about um, sending them letters, just picking up the phone and hearing it in their voice. And I started to realise that it just set something off inside of me. Um, just telling people that something that they've, you, you don't realise how much people want something until you actually hear it in their voice. And as much as I enjoyed my, my catering, I realized that I was changing as a person as well. And having two young kids, although my husband is very supportive, it became really difficult, difficult being on the road a lot um, and leaving my kids you know, with my husband when he also has a job. And 
I decided that I wanted to do a career change, which is not always that easy. And I didn't think it was going to happen. And of course, my husband said, because I said to him, I'd much rather work sitting in bed on my laptop in my pajamas, but nobody knows. And he just looked at me like, okay, she's gone crazy. Those jobs don't exist. Those jobs don't exist. Otherwise, we'd all be doing it, which made me being an Aries, right, that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Prove everybody wrong. Everyone wrong. <laughs> and I said to myself every day, I am going to find my dream job. I am capable and I will make this work. And I posted my CV. I invested time in my CV. I made sure that all my dates were correct. Um, obviously, some people you know, tend to write very long CVs, which is I, re I learned that it's not the right way to do it. And I posted my CV and I got a call from a recruitment company saying, let's meet. And that's how it started. And I've been very happy in my career change. <laughs> that's incredible. So Placed Consulting was born out of a number of journeys, which is fantastic. And obviously now during lockdown, there must be oh, hundreds of thousands of people out there who don't have work, who are desperate. But there is an energy of new employment opportunities, new business opportunities. Um, are you find, what are you finding in, in, during lockdown that's coming your way? Unfortunately, we were in hospitality um, recruitment, so we've had to change our business model. And we focused on a few industries to begin with only to get calls from industries that we hadn't even heard of before that needed our help hiring. People have been desperate to find work and it's been really devastating that we cannot help everyone. It's just a fact, unfortunately, but we do our best. And we've found that people have also wanted to do a career change, but they feel like they don't have the skills. But it's not necessarily a certificate. It can also be your skills as a person. And so what we did during lockdown, we weren't hiring at all. There was nobody hiring. Even the industries that remained open were quite quiet because they were obviously unsure of the next step of what would happen with the economy and with lockdown and the rules changing. So we started focusing on people that came to us and said, I need to do something, I need an income. Um, what can I do? but this person to me is a stranger, I've never met them. So it's asking questions, you know, what, what drives you, what gives you butterflies in your stomach? Um, do you, are you an introvert, are you an extrovert? What are your hobbies? And just guiding them in the right position so you can actually do something if you really think about it and sit down and think about what makes you happy. So coaching came out of this too. Well, I signed up for this course last year and I sort of pushed it aside and lockdown has benefited me in a way that it gave me a bit of extra time to focus on completing this, this course. And what it's taught me is certain people respond to certain questions and how you ask them. You cannot put everyone in a box, whether it's in recruitment or in a company. So it really has benefited us placing the right candidate with the right client just by knowing the culture and environment of the business, of the company, of the client, and then interviewing the candidate to see how they come across if it matches their CV. Because in the olden, well, I say in the olden days, years back, one of the things that people wrote on their CV was interests and hobbies or about me. And you can, it's great to see people that are confident, you know, they can say I'm outgoing, I'm, Multi, I can multitask, that's great. But when you speak to somebody on the phone, it can be quite different to what they say on their CV. And it's not necessarily wrong for them. That's, that's okay, but we're not just going to place anyone just because they match the experience and the qualifications that the job description requests. It's also about that person's personality and character because you don't want to be changing jobs often. It doesn't look good. Margie, it's been wonderful meeting you today and chatting to you and hearing about your journey. There is just so much that you could help people with um, in these trying times. I have no doubt that from this interview, people are going to be getting in touch with you if they're wanting to seek employment. But I think most of all, the fact that 
you changed a career will help somebody else and there are so many people during this time who have to consider other careers so thank you once again for joining us absolutely thank you so much man it's been great thank you to our viewers we'll be sharing margie's details on how you can get in touch with her at the end of this interview and for more info on the vovazela you can visit our website at www.thevovazela.co.za. Till next time.